Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me. So today I have decided it is time for me to get out of this town. I live in a really small isolated town and I love it here. You know, it's a little beachy town in Northern California, but sometimes you just need to get away. And the last time I got away was at Christmas time when I went back to Maryland. So I'm going to go to a city that's a couple hours from here. I'm gonna stay overnight, I'm gonna do some shopping, and I'm really looking forward to it. So I thought it would be a good time to just kind of show you what I put in a quick last minute travel makeup bag. So let's go ahead and get started. First thing I'm gonna be bringing is my little makeup bag from Too Faced. So cute with the hearts, and then it's got this little teddy bear on it. So this bag is part of the Teddy Bear Hair Brush Set from Too Faced. You can get it on Too Faced's website. Sephora also carries it. I'm not bringing all of the brushes. The set comes with five brushes. It also has like a, it's almost like a stamping kind of outer corner brush, but these are the ones that I use like all the time. So this is a powder brush and then an all over lid brush and then a crease brush and this pointed liner brush, which a lot of people ask me about. So that's where it comes from. I love these brushes and I'm taking them with me. I also need something just to set my under eye area and like the smaller areas. I'm definitely going to be putting concealer around my eyebrows for the next couple days, so I'm going to need something to set that. So I'm bringing my dual-ended Tarte brush. This is perfect for setting um, powder in smaller areas. And then this end I'm just going to use for blush and bronzer. It's a little smaller than I like, but it'll work. <laughs> And then skincare stuff, I'm just bringing a few things. First is the Fresh Soy Face Cleansing Milk. This is just a nice cleanser that I got as a deluxe sample from uh, Sephora at some point. I wouldn't buy this brand because they're not cruelty free, but I do like their stuff. And then for my moisturizer and primer, I'm going to be bringing the Coconut Skin Smoothing Primer Moisturizer. This is another free sample from Sephora. This is from First Aid Beauty. It's a very nice cruelty-free natural kind of a brand. This stuff I really love. It kind of brightens your skin. It smells really nice. I don't feel like it smells like coconut. It smells sweet, but coconut is not the sense that I get when I smell it. But it is a really nice product. Works well as a primer and a moisturizer. So love this two-in-one type stuff for traveling. And excuse my, I'm sucking on a cough drop right now, so I won't be like hacking and coughing throughout this video because when I talk, I tend to cough. It, I'm still not over whatever I've had for like five weeks. So the next thing that I have is my Pure Hydrogel Lift. And this is wonderful and soothing. It's great for priming under the eyes, but I've also been using it around my eyebrows since I just got them waxed. It's just, it has a very nice cooling sensation, although it is designed just as an under eye primer. And then for concealer, I'm actually gonna be taking my Tarte Shape Tape. And the reason that I am taking this one instead of my Born This Way concealer is because it's fuller coverage and I need something that's a little bit thicker and fuller coverage when I have so much redness. You can't see it because I just put this on, but um, I have a ton of redness um, underneath. <laughs> so, and I can still feel like around my eyebrows throbbing. So I'm gonna be taking this because I know for a couple days I'm definitely gonna have some irritation here. And this is in the shade Fair. And then instead of like a foundation, I'm gonna be taking my It Cosmetics your Skin But Better CC Plus Color Correcting Full Coverage Cream with SPF 50. Such a long name. So this is something that I got for my Disney World trip last year and I used it every day, but I didn't use it up. So um, it's a, just a really nice thing that I like to use for traveling. It's kind of an all-in-one type of product. Gives me that sunscreen, gives me some coverage. So I do like it. I am in the shade Fair. Next thing, this is a more recent purchase. This is the Tarte Tardis Pro Glow to Go little kit. It's got a contour slash bronzing powder. I use it more as a bronzer than a contour. And then it has two highlights. It smells like chocolate. It has a nice little mirror. And it's very compact and great for traveling. So I got this over the holidays and I'm gonna go ahead and bring it with me this weekend. For blush, I am going to go with a Never Fail. This is the NARS Orgasm Blush in a tiny little size. And I love bringing tiny little compact products. And then for my eyeshadows, I'm gonna go ahead and bring my Too Faced Chocolate Chip Palette. I know, or White Chocolate Chip Palette. A lot of people don't like this. If you're fair, you might really like it. 
Um, I really enjoy it because I am fair and these colors do actually show up on me. For traveling, I don't really use the real glittery shades because I don't want to bother with a glitter glue and stuff, but I do really like the mattes in here and I'm actually wearing them today. You can make a really nice, easy, simple look and of course it smells like chocolate, which I love. Okay, for lips, I'm going to be bringing something just very simple. I'm bringing my Tardis Glossy Lip Paint in the shade Double Tap. This is a nice, it's almost like a gray-toned, mauve rose kind of shade. It's really, really pretty on the lips. It has nice pigmentation, and it feels really good. It's like the between a creamy lipstick and a lip gloss. I talked about it in my, I think I talked about it in my lip favorites for 2016. I do love this stuff. I actually have a couple of these now. Okay, only a few things left for my makeup bag. So next I'm going to be bringing my Cover FX Loose Powder. This is the, um, what is it called? Perfect Setting Powder in Translucent Light. And that is what the shade looks like. I love this loose powder. I tried the press powder and I didn't like it so much. It kind of had a yellow undertone, but this loose powder like brightens my skin. It has a little bit of that pink undertone, which is really good for my skin tone. So I love this. I bought a full size, but I'm bringing the tiny baby size because I want to save room when I'm traveling. For my brows, I want something just really simple and easy. And since I just got them done, I think that this is the perfect choice. This is the NYX Tinted Brow Mascara in the shade uh, Blondie, or Blonde, sorry, not Blondie. That's what it looks like. It doesn't have any of those like uh, fibers, which I actually really like, and it has a pretty big wand, so you can do your brows pretty quickly with this stuff. And then for eyeliner, I'm going to be bringing my Kat Von D Tattoo Liner in the shade Trooper. This is bl the black shade. And then for my lower lash line, I'm going to bring the Smashbox Always Sharp Liner in the shade Raven, which is their like matte black. And then for mascara, I'm going to bring my favorite mascara, which is great for really just for separating out the lashes and like giving them some length. This is the Flawless Definition Mascara from Bare Minerals in Black. So that is everything that's going in my makeup bag. Let's see if we can get it closed. All of my makeup and skincare in one little bag so i am just gonna take a big purse or you know like weekend type of bag and my makeup's not gonna take up that much space i hope that you guys liked this video please let me know what your travel must-haves are thanks so much for watching and i'll see you next time bye guys